Hi, hello, everyone, and you're welcome to GB Fan for today tutorial. And I'm Odurole Mojibola. Today, I'm going to be teaching us how to create this flora and knotted wedge sander. Now, there's a there's a special difference between the other one that I made and this because of the way this particular wedge is. For you to understand what I'm perfectly saying, sit back, and I will be right back. Now we're going to start with this tutorial. I'm going to be with this particular wedge. Now, as you know, it's a flora, you know, knotted sander, and it's going to be on this particular wedge. The last wedge I showed us doesn't have this kind of shape. If you remember, it has a leveled platform. I mean, it doesn't have a holo, holo like inside like this, and still have this particular platform at the edge. So what I'm going to quickly show us, I've already explained to us how to create our insole for our wedge. The same process is what you are going to use for this particular wedge So, So you are going to try to create one for the inside. That is what I'm going to suggest you do. Create a pattern for the inside. You can see that this has been perfectly suspended into it. So you are going to cut this out, just cut out a marco i made use of marco 3 my own marco is marco 3 it has a thickness of 3 millimeter that is why we call it marco 3 i thought i've taught us that so what i'll do is i'm just going to have cut it out i'm going to just insert it into it and you can see what i have it has already leveled the whole platform making it whole leveled so i will now cut my full insole and then put it on it now I've already cut out and wrapped my insole. Don't forget, I told us that after we have fixed our the first um, cap macro, after putting our first ever foam, which is which has a millimeter of three, it has already filled that hole. So all I did was just wrap this. Now you have to be okay, You can see. Now one of those things I newly discovered is that. If you want to for this now in case you don't have a sanding machine yet i just got an iron brush that i always use for the surface so instead of using this sandpaper what i use is this my iron brush so i just go ahead and use it on it before you know it everything is already roughened so and you know the essence of doing this is to enhance the adhesion of our marco onto whatever we are attaching it on so i also told us don't forget to always sandpaper your so i find that that so many people so many of my students are asking me oh i'm having issue with gumming and things like that please ensure you sand try to try to roughen the surface it enhance the bonding that is what i have found out and the kind of adhesive gum you are using will determine how long you should expose it to air before you finally as in put the two surfaces together some take a longer time than 15 minutes that is written on it some think some take a shorter time than even the 15 minutes that is written on it so i need you to really pay attention to that now for my pattern i've already explained to us how to create the back pattern i've taught us how to create back patterns please if you don't know go down the description and check the link to my channel so that you can see the full videos that i have in there as you can see i have my back pattern already these are just straight straps so i'm just going to cut them out i've taught us how to fold our inner all of these are in my channel please i want you to go click the link i will put it directly under this video and also put it in the comment section so you just click to view the videos that are available there so i'm just going to go ahead and cut out my patterns yes now let's quickly go to knotting a flora wedge sander now what you do first is this i've taught us how to go ahead as in how to go how to go about our measurements for this we have a strap of the side that goes this way this is about seven to seven and a half it depends on you the last is size 40, is a size 40 last. So, and there is a particular one that can, that is going from here 
and it's coming to this side which is eight as you can see it's eight inch i already have excess on this side and excess on this particular side so i have eight inch length now for the one that is not that is knotted at the center that one goes this way it goes this way and it goes ahead this way so what i did was after measuring the normal the normal length which is about eight inch what i did is i added about three inch to it making it 11 inch long so that by the time i go ahead and knot my length will still be at will still be eight inch so when you want to do yours ensure that whatever length you measure this is what i mean if this is the side that you are actually you are not in this is eight had three and inches to it that will be 11 so that by the time you're not it will not be too short when you try to last your sander so let's go ahead this is at the center and we have this one going this way so this is the long one that we are going to knot around them because the two straps are actually inside it so we'll go ahead and knot it this way it's just a very simple way to knot as you can see i'm sure you'll be wondering when i'm knotting when i knotted this one you see that is the wrong side that is showing so you are going to turn it yourself to what you want it to look like you can see i turn it i have turned it so it means when you want to knot by the time you place it all around themselves this way you can see I'm placing it this way it's going under the space I provided when it comes out it comes out in the wrong direction so what you do is try to turn it this way by the time you turn it you find out that you have already created a knot with your floral leather so any leather that has flower like this is what we call of floral leather so and that is what brought about the name that we have so what you need to do is just go ahead and check see this one is going this way and this is coming this way it's going ahead this way the one at the center which is the white will go this way it will also go this way on this side it goes this way and you have this like this so you can adjust it can adjust this just for it to be enough and there you go you have your knots already so let me quickly show us how to place it on the insole i think i've already taught us how to place the back pattern so for this i'm just going to quickly show us how to place this i want you to know that when i when i show us how to place a particular design I have had my student ask me, oh, is it applicable to all? I will suggest you try it on another design. When you try it and it's not working out, then you can ask questions. Because most times, I, the truth is that when you try it on another design, it will perfectly work as long as they look alike. So let's quickly go to our... This is what we have. Most times, we cannot use our last like this to locate the position no the reason is this our last does not showcase our tools and if you are not very familiar with the last you may not know where to uniquely place you know you to, to uniquely place your strap or your upper patterns like this so what i usually do is i tell us to use our finger so i'm going to do the same thing today now for today for today's strap because the strap is not very wide the first one that is going this way is not really wide it's about 1.5 centimeter wide the width for her the strap is 1.5 centimeter so it's just that we have this one to be eight centimeter we have eight centimeter and we have the last one to be 11 that is what we have the 11 inches rather 11 inches it's just the width that is in centimeter please it's not 1.5 inch just the length is what i the, the length is what i explained to us in inch but the width is 1.5 centimeter so let me quickly show us how to place a hand for this kind of design i'm going to be suggesting that you make use of this side 
of your finger. Don't use this side. Let it come a little bit lower just because of the weight that we have here. So by the time you get to this side of your, of your finger, please come to this particular side. Yes, use this same this particular side or a little bit ahead so if you are not using exactly this place just move like one centimeter or 0 0.5 centimeter upward and pick it so it means my design is going to be like this i'm going to pick this and then this one that is going to be here i'm going to allow it to be here now one thing that you'll be wondering is ah, will this still look normal yes the reason is this, the small, it has to cover the smallest too, it's not wide. So you can't afford to place it anyhow. Or else, it will not cover the person's smallest toe. So, that is just the basis for this particular design. So let me go ahead and then place it. For the other ones, it will automatically, you know, explain itself. Because the one at the center will definitely go on that straight way. Straight way. And after you have positioned this, the, the two upper part. All you need to do is just to pull this one downward and pull this other one downward. Those ones will position themselves automatically. Now, let's quickly go ahead and last our not floral wet sander. So, what the first thing I'm going to first of all, I've told us how to mark. You must have marked it. It's going to pass by the side. It's not passing in. It's not going to be passing in to in the insole. So, it's going to pass by the side. I've already marked it. So, I'm going to, just going to go ahead. And use those side that I marked so I'm going to start from this side just to hold the hopper part first I'm going to go to this other one be careful with your last don't forget it's a wedge don't just leave it pointing up let it bend and hold it properly that is the best way to last it since it's a wedge so I'm just going to Make sure that the knot is at the center line, this center line of the last. That's where your knot should be. That's where it should be. So ensure you place it. You can decide to hold your own last with nail. So I have this here. So I have the two upper parts. I have them already picked now. So I'm just going to go ahead and last the other side. So you can decide to start with which continue with whichever side you can continue with this adjust the knot you want to you think you want to adjust it adjust it then you take it right to where you want it to to stop so i'm just going to pull it and put it there it's okay this way this is okay here i think i'm okay with this here so let's quickly go ahead onto this side. Don't forget, you have to ensure that you permit it must stay properly. So I'm coming to this side to complete the job. Don't forget, you can see me trying to press it down and to make sure that it's sitting properly at the center of the insole. So that's very important. So I'm going to pick this other side. Go ahead and put it together. Then this last one, you can see that is perfectly staying on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this. The amazing thing is that you can even use that this as an ordinary slide. If you don't want yours to be a sander like mine, you can make it an ordinary slide. And the hopper part will just be, I mean the toe part, will, this is what you will just have there. Let me remove it for us to see. You can see how lovely and beautiful this looks like. So it's something we can use as an ordinary slide. So let's go ahead and fix the back pattern. So I'm just going to pick my back pattern and then place it right here. So I've already taught us, but for this particular design, I measured five centimeter. I measured five centimeters. So you can decide to hold your strap down. If you have already punched it so just hold it down hold it down here and you can go ahead and last ensure that your last is at the center it is very important let it be at the center 
so that by the time you are through, you can see how it's perfectly sitting. You can see the way it's perfectly sitting. So, just gonna go ahead and um, place this. Go ahead and then do the same thing to this side as well. So, gonna have a beautiful look on my sander. So, at the end of the day, this is what I have. You can see, you can't use this particular side to judge this trap because if you are not careful, it may be too loose or too wide because sometimes, most times, most of our ankle is, the circumference is not as um, wide as what our last is. So you have to be careful with that as well. Thank God there is an elastic band that is suspending the buckle. So now you can see what I have. So it's just to go ahead and last it. Can't you see how beautiful our floral sander looks? Hi, this is really beautiful. I'm loving this, my Christmas shoe, you know. <laughs> now let's quickly look at our So I told us that we're going to, we are suspending on, uh, on Everfoam or some call it Marco. I'm just going to have applied gum on the two of them on the inside and this side. So I'm going to just go ahead and fix it. So just fix it gently fix gently to avoid you know enlarging it unnecessarily so as you can see what i have here so i'm just going to go ahead now and use apply my gum on this side i've already used my iron brush i told us i just discovered this you just use it to brush marco majorly that's what for on marco and on your nora it works perfectly well so i'm just going to go ahead and how oh, come on now hey i don't know if you are seeing what i'm seeing are you really feeling what I'm feeling? Wow, this is cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my gum and finally sole my sander. It's actually a floral sander. It's so cute. You have blue, you have... Oh, no, no, no. This is really beautiful. Now the adhesives are dry. Can you see? I use the normal contact gum. You can see this is what I use. So let's go ahead and last as usual we start from the bottom that's the heel part place it carefully place it carefully that is the language carefully place it so come back to the front and bend it ensure that you properly place them so that the owner can enjoy the shoe just as it has been best put for her that is the language so you can see now that our flora and the knotted sander a wet sander is ready so i'm just going to take my time hammer it and then um, you find that you can see how it looks like all this opening part all you need to do is to make sure you press it in press it in as long as it's not touching the right thing you'll find it opening up so see what we have here so now this is just perfectly what we need yes and this is how our sander looks like. So I want to believe you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have actually enjoyed, make sure you give it a like. Let everybody know that you enjoy it. And if you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Again, I'm saying Merry Christmas. See you next time. Bye.